everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, I'm super excited. I get to share with you a couple of the brand new items from the Newton's Nook Designs January release. It's kind of like a sneak peek. All week long, I'll be doing videos and sneak peeks of products um, with the brand new items, and then they go live actually on Friday. So be sure and check that out. Um, today, I'm going to share with you a brand new stencil set and a brand new stamp set to the shop. The stamp set does have coordinating dies, um, and the stencil is a two-piece bokeh heart stencil. Super neat. The stamp set is a four by six set called Tides of Love. It is super cute. Great for Valentine's Day or just any day too, guys. And to celebrate the brand new January release, Newton's Nook Designs is giving away to one lucky winner this stamp set. How about that? Well, not this one. Well, brand new one. <laughs> but um, details for that giveaway are over on my blog. Be sure and check it out. Basically, all you have to do is comment on each one of the design team's um, post using this fun little Tides of Love stamp set or the Boca Hearts um, stencil. And the more chances you, the more comments um, you make the more better chance of winning this great little set. Okay, with that being said, I'm super excited to share two projects today. So we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to stamp all of my images at once. I love the little crab. And there's the, the sentiments in here actually coordinate perfectly with the images. Like the octopus has a sentiment that says, you octopi my heart. The little crab has a sentiment that says, a pinch, um, a pinch of love for you. How cute is that? Um, the turtle says you are totally awesome and then the whale has one that says I whale always love you and also guys um, for steel shots and details about the giveaway um, the giveaway winner for the stamp set will be announced um, on Friday January 24th that's actually the release day so um, but for all those details just check out my blog and I'll link it down below in the description area for you guys I'm just doing some coloring and I did skip the coloring only because I wanted to save a little bit of time and talk to you more about the giveaway and also um, the brand new release. Um, so all week long I will be sharing projects using the brand new release items. So this is super fun and I'm super excited to share these sneak peeks with you. So with that being said, my images are all done and I did use the coordinating dies to die cut them out. So they're ready to go. Next, I'm taking the largest frame from the Frameworks die set and also the heart from the Darling Hearts die set. Um, I'm going to cut two hearts out in one frame. And then I also cut out a smaller panel using a pale blue cardstock. Both of these panels are going to be for two different cards. Now, I'm going to stencil the background of my blue panel and my... Um, my postage stamped background panel here but I didn't want the edges of my background panel to have um, ink on them so I'm just cutting down four strips of post-it note tape um, and then I'm going to line, line it up just to pass the stitch lines on this background here this way I have a clean white background and the inside has this beautiful bokeh effect now for this panel I'm taking some pixie spray we're going to spray our stencil it just makes it easier and then this is um, stencil number one. Now the stencils are marked and they're embossed, which makes it fabulous to line up. You can see the embossed detail on there. Um, this is stencil one. I'm just gonna tack it down to my panel. And then we're gonna do a little bit of ink blending with my oxide inks. Now I'm gonna start off with some tumbled glass and just using my blending brush, we're gonna go over the upper portion of this panel. Um, I'm, usually, I'm basically going from top to the middle area because we're gonna overlap colors. Um, my next color, I'm going to bring in Squeeze Lemonade, and then this is going to go over the, um, the entirety of the middle of my panel. And this way, when I blend the blue in, which is not very prominent right now, so we're going to change colors and bring in some Broken China. It's a little bit of a darker blue. This way, it kind of pops a little bit more. We're going to add a little bit more blue here. And when you overlap the colors, you get the blue on top, the, the yellow on the bottom, and then the green is created when you mix them both together. For my bottom color, I'm bringing in um, worn lipstick, do a little bit of shading, making sure I overlap some of that yellow, which will create a real pretty corally orange color. And then that's it. And you can see when I'm going over with my blending brush, um, the embossed hearts in the background kind of stand out a little bit, which is nice. Um, but those embossed hearts are neat because if you wanted to flip flop and use stencil number two first, you can line them up. 
And this is stencil number two. I already sprayed it with my pixie spray, but using those embossed hearts, I'm gonna line up those embossed hearts over my, um, my inked hearts and they line up perfectly. You can see how easy it was to line up. This is great if you wanna tilt your stencil, go diagonal. If you wanna um, offset it a bit, it's just super easy line up, guys. Now I'm doing the same exact colors and same exact um, pattern over my stencil number two and then I get to reveal the beautiful bokeh heart effect so pretty isn't that gorgeous you get a rainbow bokeh heart effect I love this I just thought it was super neat I'm gonna remove my post-it tape off the edges here and then you can see my white border love that effect now we're gonna do a little bit more stenciling on this pale blue panel I'm just gonna wipe off my stencils real quickly just using my stamp chamois here I'm going to clean those off and then for the pale blue cardstock I'm going to just use some blue inks we're going to use the tumbled glass and then also the um, broken china we'll just line up our stencil number one and you can put it anywhere and then we'll start off by adding a little ink and this time we're going to use the darker ink this is broken china and I'm just lightly going over it we're going to remove the stencil and then we're going to take our stencil number two layer and then line up those embossed hearts over our inked hearts. And my paper kept shifting. I think if I tacked my paper down, it would have been a little easier, <laughs> but super easy to line up. You see those embossed areas just make it so easy. Now for my second layer, I'm going to add a lighter ink. This is tumbled glass, a lighter blue, and I'm just going to go for a tone on tone with my background for this panel. And then we'll just remove it and release our beautiful bokeh heart effect. So that's our second panel. Easy peasy, but isn't it super neat? Okay, now I'm going to stamp my sentiment from the Tides of Love stamp set. For my first card, I'm going to stamp um, the sentiment that says, A Pinch of Love for You. I'm using my VersaFine ink, and we're going to offset it on our heart here. This way we can put our little crab right next to our sentiment. I just didn't want to get it crooked, so I was straightening out my heart. And then we'll add a piece of foam adhesive behind our little crab and stick this little guy right next to our sentiment. And he's holding a little heart and the heart I chose to color in blue, kind of a teal blue. And I did add um, dotted detail with my white gel pen on my little crab, but we're just going to pop up this little heart and we're going to place it in the center of our background. I think that looks great. We'll flip this panel over. I want to add foam adhesive behind here. And then this is going to go on a standard A2 size card base. And then that's ready to go. Now for our second card, we are going to stamp the sentiment that was so cute. I don't think I mentioned this when I shared with you the other sentiments, but this goes with the fish beautifully. It says, I love every fin about you. How <laughs> cute is that? Now this could be a perfect Valentine's Day card, but I want to show you that you could make more than just Valentine's Day card. You can make everyday cards with this. But I'm popping up my heart here and we're gonna offset it on our background panel so it's hanging off on the right. We're gonna add foam adhesive behind this and add that to our card base. And then all we have to do is add our fish, which I added dimensional adhesive behind with um, those as well. Okay, we're gonna grab our other card and then just finish off both of the cards with some clear little hearts. Um, I thought the clear little hearts would work perfect because they look like little bubbles. Just using my glue to adhere those down. And then those are my two projects today using the Boca Heart stencil set that will be available on Friday, guys. And then also the Tides of Love stamp set and coordinating dies that are available this Friday. So I encourage you to visit our my blog, Newton's Nook Designs blog, because there is a chance to win this fun little stamp set. Free is always good, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. I wish you a fabulous day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.